I, I never really considered that we'd make it to 100 episodes, but now that we're here, it's amazing. TV series don't last this long, you know? Like, it's really, really rare when they do. I think the 100th episode is probably as quintessential One Tree Hill as we've been in a very long time. It it's really surreal, and I, I've talked to a lot of people about it and a lot of my friends about it, and they constantly remind me that it's such a small percentage of actors that are able to make it on a show to 100 episodes. You know, back in the beginning, I think the mentality was so one step at a time, just make it to another season, make it to another, you know, second half of the season, just or sometimes just make it to another episode. Nathan and Haley have always had significant moments in the rain. It's one of their signature things. And they were on the rocks emotionally in episode 100. So I thought, you know, what if Nathan came home and he wanted to mend fences and he wanted to apologize and he wanted to get back together with Haley and it just started to rain there, while they were still in the house. Well, as soon as he's coming to a stop, let's cue the water. And then, exactly. The basic storyline of the episode is uh, a culmination of everyone's relationships, you know, what's what's going to happen. Is she going to stop the wedding? Is she going to get Lucas? Is, you know, is she going to get her heart broken? I is it her fault? Is it his fault? Who, is it too late? Is it not too late? Well, in episode 100, Nathan, um, you know, he's trying his hardest with the help of Lucas to sort of get Haley back. Really, he's sort of using Jamie as well and trying to get Jamie to help him out and Lucas to help him out. It's all, it's kind of funny and it's kind of cute until Jamie ends up actually being abducted by Carrie. And um, when that happens, it all sort of falls apart. Hey, what's going on? Jamie's gone and Dan was here. What? He's missing. Dan came by. I told him he was not to come into the church, and now he's gone. We've looked everywhere. I think we weren't expecting to be choked up. I remember standing next to Hillary while Joe Duvall was talking, and we just kind of looked at each other, and it was like, this has been a huge part of our lives. I, I don't think any of us expected it to be something that was so impactful. I thought we expected it to be another job. and. Uh, you know, so to, to come in and realize, like, wow, I've really built something with each of these people, some friendship with, with everyone. It's cool. Let's see, if Nathan was around for episode 200, what would that be another? And let's, let's say that we've jumped ahead another five years. Let's say Nathan would be a veteran in the NBA. <laughs> That's where I would like to see Nathan. A veteran in the NBA, uh, schooling some young rookie. I think Haley at that point will have um, morphed into some kind of superhero, um, and I think she would be in the midst of taking over the world. I'm just so I'm so grateful for it because I know that we've all worked hard and we've all had a blast while we've been here. We're all so fortunate, but you know, to really make it to 100 episodes, you look back, you think about that number. We all just sort of formed this bond. It became a family, and it's just something that. I probably will never be a part of again, and I will never forget it. Hey, buddy. God. You want to hug me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, up in Jamie's bedroom. It's I think, translates onto the screen. It's a G that happens on our set. <laughs> you guys are ridiculously awesome. Thank you so much for all your dedication, all of your um, tenacity online and writing letters to the studios and writing letters to network. Thank you so much for 100 episodes. You know that we couldn't have done it without you. You guys have been there every step of the way supporting us.